is DJ Adams and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a step-by-step -step, um, you know a connection to record with the audio 6 so what happening here I can see a lot of videos that are explaining you know or you go on tractor you do this and you do that and they don't really explain the whole thing how to connect the things at the back of the uh, on your mixer or whatever it is okay so this is very simple you open tractor okay and then you, your audio 6 is connected as usual your output routing is deck A left right deck B B left right and your output C D your output review preview and all everything else is on your main channel now you go in your inputs you do the same deck A A deck B B left and right C is on the main left and right, D is on the main left and right, and your input FX is on the main left and right. That's all you have to do. But because all of these three, C, D, and your input FX sign are on the main, mean you can record with any of these three. But how? So you come back to your mixer, you go in the record side of your mixer, okay? You take it out from the record side, and then you bring it, to the input of your main but you just you don't have to do that I mean if I want I can just send put my mixer through through on the channel 3 take the output of this channel and then put it in my main too tractor will record the same or you can put straight away from the record side of your mixer out of it to your main in the audio 6 in the front because the main is in the front the back there is channel a b okay this output i'm using here has nothing to do with the recording side of it because this output is only for my remix deck output of my remix deck from tractor out of the audio 6 to the channel 3 of my uh denon it has nothing to do with the record side all you have to do is a cable out of the your record side or out of the channel that you set through through if your channel is through through so any sound that play on your left or right will go through that channel and then you take it out to your main and that's it okay like for example if I press play here now you can see that these three are receiving and also the recording side is receiving so if I stop it second one is receiving too so this main I can record both so if I play both at the same time you will see that this one so like when I play a B a like when I play a or B let's say play B you can see that B is playing and at the same time these three channel there are receiving too so it doesn't really matter I go on my output same. that's my input so working fine so let's record now and see if it records so let's go it's recording now I stop now there is a break in between and then I go back to this one So it's still recording. So I'll stop it. And then let's go into my where do I find the um recorded thing? I think I have to go to Explorer. Yeah. Explorer and then Ah, audio recordings, they're all here. So the one I did today that is the fourth. So let's try this one and see what's going to happen. Here we go. That was my second recording. You remember the first one? And then, hey, here we go. Swap this. Yeah, that's it. You see? So I go back to this one again. 
There we go. So that's it. We recorded our mix and that's it. It's all set to go on YouTube and make people dance, guys. So yeah, I did it. I explained to I explained and if you don't have any answer, man, if you don't think it's properly done, so just let me know and then I can make another video to help or ask questions and I will give you a hand. Okay guys? Okay, big up. Booyah and see you next time.